Morning everyone, how are you all doing? Um, I haven't done one of these little videos in a while, um, so I thought, given the fact that I've got some good news for you, that um, I best make a little uh, video. What do I mean by good news? Well, usually, if you uh, follow this channel, you'll know that I'm usually on here moaning about someone, usually salespeople trying to rip people off or people giving the wrong information, generally, to people who are interested in protecting their own privacy from technical surveillance devices. Um, you might remember quite a while ago now, um, and if you don't, have a look back on the videos. I did a video about um, unscrupulous salespeople who are selling um, technical surveillance countermeasures equipment to find illicit Wi-Fi and Bluetooth devices um, and charging people an absolute fortune um, for that equipment which is pretty substandard compared to uh, standard um, or industry standard test equipment. Anyway, um, moving forward from that, uh, I thought I would introduce to you today a really fantastic free way um, to detect, identify and locate uh, hostile Bluetooth trackers or unauthorized, we'll call it unauthorized, unauthorized Bluetooth trackers that some bad person may have fitted to your car or your person or something else um, in order to track you for whatever nefarious reasons they may have to track you. Anyhow, um, in a minute, I'm going to do a bit of a demonstration for you. Uh, a big shout out to um, the people who uh, invented AirGuard, and AirGuard is the name of the app. It's a fantastic app. We've tested it um, thoroughly here at Verimus, um, including on a number of uh, training courses that we run. We've tested it on there as well. And every single time, it's managed to very quickly and very easily detect, identify, and locate those unauthorized Bluetooth tracking devices. Okay, so uh, let's crack on. Okay, so first things first, um, when we look at uh, anything in technical surveillance countermeasures, the first thing we have to do is understand the threat, right? Um, we're going to talk about Bluetooth tracking beacons today, obviously, and demonstrate the uh, fantastic AirGuard app, which is free. Um, so, Bluetooth tracking devices, they've been around for a long time now. They didn't used to be so much of a problem because uh, they had a very short range and you had to be within that range to be able to uh, track them. Um, but now, things like uh, Apple Air tags and uh, smart tags, tiles, all of those different kinds of uh, Bluetooth tracking devices are networked through smartphones, uh, which makes them really simple to use. Um, and they also have um, an excellent long battery life, which makes them a fantastic tool for covertly tracking uh, people or items. Um, historically, it's been quite uh, difficult to find them for um, members of the public, definitely. Um, you would have to buy um, a quite expensive piece of equipment to be able to find them. However, like I said, um, at Verimus TSM Training Centre, for years now, we've taught people how to do that for free. Um, you don't need to buy really expensive uh, equipment to detect, identify and locate those devices. But um, it, it's been quite complex, technically quite complex. Um, but like I said, we're going to talk about a free app which is really easy to use. So let's um, introduce you to the, um, to the bad things first. So um, obviously, little things like this. So obviously that's an Apple Air tag there. A small little thing there okay and this is a samsung smart tag that we've got here we'll be using these two devices today um people uh, tend to think that um uh, trying to find these things is uh, is quite hard but um you'll see you'll see anyway so uh, we're gonna go and stick these in my car now to uh bug myself and uh then let's go for a drive and show you how easy it is to find them Okay, that's enough of um, 
looking at the beautiful Newcastle Vista. Um, right, so I have um, stepped out of my office and onto the quayside at Newcastle and um, I've put those two little Bluetooth tracking beacons in my car. Um, so I want to do a quick demonstration. It's really simple to use this app. Like I've said before, keep repeating myself, but it is really simple. Um, there's two methods really, two main methods of um, detecting if you are being tracked by a Bluetooth tracker um, on this app. The first one is uh, called a manual scan and I shall show you that on the app. So basically all you do is open up the app, then click on manual scan and then you'll be able to see as soon as you open manual scan it shows you if there's any trackers around you and on this you'll see there's a Samsung smart tag and an Apple air tag. If we want to then locate that to see if it's in the car with us then you just press locate really then the closer you get to the tracker the higher the percentage number comes on the screen pretty simple right and fantastic for free okay bearing as uh, there's a lot of people who are making equipment and selling them out there who will charge you thousands for uh, doing exactly the same thing exactly the same thing um, I'll probably put uh, some examples um, of that equipment in a picture in picture while I do the editing for this video when I eventually get around to it okay so the next thing that we're going to do is demonstrate to you the um, kind of background monitoring function of that app so what you can do is you can select background monitoring within the app and then as you go about your business driving around doing whatever you're doing then um, the app will be monitoring to see if there are any Bluetooth devices any Bluetooth trackers that are following you around uh, and as soon as it detects that it'll give you a little warning so I've had um, the warning pop up on my Apple watch before telling me that there are trackers following me obviously ones that I've put in the car um, and also then you can look back on uh, the app and you can see when that was first detected and how long that has been with you including a little map and I shall show you um, pictures of that as well so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up the camera um, put my app into uh, background monitoring and then we're going to for, for a drive okay so um, I pulled over because I got an alert to say that there's a tracker following us so let's have a look on the app do 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 air guard app and um, as you'll see there it says that there's a risk that something has been following us and if I click on that then you will see that it says there's a Samsung smart tag being following us yeah I know there is because I put it in there but if there was a nefarious bad guy type person bad person type person that was trying to uh, track you using a Bluetooth uh, tracking tag then uh, the app would have found it really simply I think we've only been going for about a mile or so um, you'll see also that the app says that it's nearby um, okay no problem so we need to locate that now so if you just uh, look on the app and click locate there then you'll see the numbers pop up um, and if I move the phone closer to the tag or the tag closer to the phone then um, you'll see the numbers go up the closer to the um, Bluetooth tracking tag that you get the higher the numbers will get until you're pretty much on top of it and you'll know exactly where it is simple right yep really simple anyhow um, I'm gonna drive now uh, back to the office and um, I'll finish up that video there see you soon Well, that's me back in the office. Um, 
I hope you enjoyed that little demonstration. Um, it really does show the difference between equipment users and TSM professionals, experts in the discipline of technical surveillance countermeasures. Um, I don't like the fact that uh, people are ripped off by having to, or kind of channeled down the way of buying equipment um, to achieve an operational aim, like detecting Bluetooth uh, tracking tags. Um, so I'm just gonna keep making videos like this uh, to, uh, to put everything kind of straight, I suppose. Uh, well, that's it, really, that's it. It, it was simple. Um, but Bluetooth's not the only vector for uh, tracking people out there. So uh, if you've got any questions at all, feel free to uh, drop me a message. Um, until next time, take care.